Hey, welcome back to Fire Steel. Today we've got some uh, walk behind plows. These are steel walk behind plows. And we just got these three that need refurbishing. And the back one is uh, Mondad's that we just refurbished. We put new handles on it from Lehman's and uh, used chassis saver to uh, paint all the uh, metal parts of the plow so it'll hold up for a really long time. And just linseed oil on the handles so far. And these three, we haven't identified these at all yet. Haven't found any names or numbers on them. Any help would be great in identifying these maybe by their hitch points or something. We're gonna start with the one all the way in the back, and then this is gonna be the next one that we do after that, and we'll finish up with this one. The mull board needs some welding up, patching and welding, same with that one. Uh, gotta fabricate one or two little parts for it. Those two have sod cutters, this one does not but they all have the wheels and that came later on so i was looking up some information on these and uh, it seems that somewhere in uh, the late 1700s is when the cast iron plow was patented out of new jersey some fell out of new jersey and uh, then the steel plow essentially this design was uh, patented somewhere i think it was like 1837 by john deere and that's what this one is. Now this isn't, I don't know the date on this one. I don't know the date on this one, but this is, this is a John Deere, maybe a 192 there, John Deere plow. I've got all the numbers, everything. This thing's in great shape. I don't think it's seen much, much use at all. Great plow. Great condition and I and I haven't used these yet. I haven't plowed uh, Any ground with a horse yet or a team of horses, so I Don't really know what I'm talking about, but We're gonna get these fixed up kind of get them looking like that and then we're gonna sell these and The fella that gave us these three has a couple of more Thank you very much, Dale. We really appreciate it, uh, the donation. And uh, he's got a couple more. He's got an Oliver, and it almost looks like an International Harvester, I think. But at least that the, the other two he's, he, he has there have markings on them. So uh, this is our little walking plow deal here. We're going to get these three restored, sell them. Uh, try and do another two and uh, keep uh, fixing up old horse drawn equipment. That's kind of something we'd like to start doing on the side a little bit. Here we go. We got the International Harvester number nine high gear with rubber wheels. This is the last horse drawn mower made. Uh, 1953, I think. And it's got the uh, is that a five foot? I think that's a five foot bar. I think you could get a five, a six, or a seven. But I might be wrong about that. We need uh, new tires for it. Uh, it obviously needs a paint job, new tires, new pitman arm, and a pole, even or double tree, yoke. Uh, but it's in the works. And uh, there's a couple of uh, uh, Deering McCormick's uh, number sevens, uh, which at least the fellas I've been talking to say are the best mower ever made. Um, they're kind of they're kind of floating in the wings right now. We're trying to lock those down, but a lot more cool horse drawn stuff to come. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. If you can identify any of these, we would really appreciate the help. Uh, thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.